That is not the one I need. That is not the one I need. That is not the one I need. Here it is. Now I begin to understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Never mind. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else, most probably your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working, I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say.
I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believed that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. Eighteen eighty-three. That's the one I need. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. <laughs> 